I'm Kendall Cross, and uh, I play Rita in Grand Unified Theory. Oh, it's a long, long road. <laughs> um, I, uh, I moved to Vancouver after I graduated uh, from Kamloops Senior Secondary and uh, mm -hmm. went to UBC, took a Bachelor of Fine Arts in stage acting. Um, never thought about film because we just couldn't do it in Kamloops. Um, but uh, when I graduated, I jumped out there and started doing some auditioning, and I landed my first audition um, with a speaking role. So I thought, wow, this is simple. Uh, but it wasn't. <laughs> two years later was my next role. So I struggled for two years to get, uh, to get something else. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of years of just hard work and uh, making lots of connections with casting agents and um, and I guess having great set etiquette and being someone people like to work with brings more work to you. So I'd like to think that that's kind of what's worked out for me. Uh, Rita in Grand Unified Theory is uh, a mother of two children who are at a certain stage in their life where they don't need her as much anymore. Um, one is graduating from high school, the other's close to it. Um, her husband is getting a new job that's the job he's always wanted. So everybody's kind of moving forward um, and she's wondering what her place is or her role is after all these years of providing for them. Um, and for me, I have two children. Uh, so imagining what's coming in the future for me was, uh, was easy. Um, I think David really created relationships and characters that uh, I could relate to. It was very similar to what I experienced in my life. Um, dramatic in one sense, but you got to kind of laugh at it in another way. So I think he really captured that in the writing. It's, I, there's a certain strategy. I mean, um, I don't, I try not to go backwards, I guess. If, um, you know, if I'm starting to do a certain type of role, then I won't go back to doing, you know, a one-liner or a two-liner in something. Um, once in a while that, we, I'd get an offer for something like that as a favor. Or, um, but yeah, you try and kind of build yourself to a place where um, you're marketing yourself to a certain type of role, um, a certain size of role. Um, and yeah, leading roles are kind of uh, few and far between in Vancouver. There's a lot of MOWs, Movies of the Week, um, so you can get some good parts in those. But uh, as far as TV series, you're really, you're really pushing it as a Canadian to get a lead in, a, in a, an American production these days. So um, yeah, you kind of have to, a little bit of take what you can get, but also put your foot down and don't go too low. Oh gosh, um, I think people will have moments of uh, recognition um, where they see themselves. I think they'll have a lot of uh, good laughs, um, but in the end I think they'll, they'll really get to know these characters intimately and they'll really come to love them in a short period of time. Um, and I think that's what was so attractive about the script to me. Um, you know, we shot this in 12 days. To shoot a feature in 12 days is crazy as it is, um, but to do it where we were getting one and two takes for each scene, um, to have it turn out the way it did was super exciting. So that's uh, that's casting, I think. Not just myself, <laughs> not plugging myself, but he really did choose um, some really good actors, and um, everyone came to the table really prepared. So it made a big difference to to the outcome of the movie, I think.